Hello there, YouTube friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna make a safe assumption here and just assume that all y'all do Facebook Marketplace, right? <laughs> Is it only me that's just obsessed with it? It's one of my favorite things, I'm not gonna lie. When I give up shopping and social media over January, Honestly, Marketplace is the hardest thing for me to cut out because I love seeing what's out there in my city and available. Friends of mine are always sending each other like screenshots of what we're finding, even if we don't get it. It's just such a fun thing to do. And I found a few really good things here. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Josh is not gonna like this video. There's one too many chairs and the man is done with chairs in our life. I'm telling you, I am just, the worst sometimes when it comes to the amount of chairs that I bring into this house. But you know what? I've sold some this year. I've used Marketplace to my benefit. I will say that it's not nearly as easy though now that we live in a small town and not in the city. I have not been selling nearly as much as I probably should and I'm still driving to the city to buy everything. So I'm starting out in Ivy's room. I have these items right here. I was gonna show them to you, but I think that instead, I might actually take you guys a little bit around the house. So I was not planning on doing this, so please excuse any mess. This is a real house where real people live with real messes. And so I'll just show you guys the main thing that I found. My whole first part of the morning today was actually driving so far away to go pick up some chairs. But while I was there, there was a big pile of like trash in the driveway. And the man said that I could have whatever I wanted in this big pile of trash. And let me tell you, it was truly trash. But in it, I found this little basket. So you guys can see that there is a hole in the bottom and it's not like in perfect condition. There's a little piece sticking out right there. And just in condition, it's a little bit rough. But y'all, isn't that pretty? This is clearly antique. You know what? I figured I would use it for laundry. And that hole is so little, like no sock is gonna fall through that. I just could not believe that they were just gonna be throwing this away. So y'all know I snatched this bad boy up. Let me go ahead and take you guys into in our dining room. And I'll show you the, I think they're called fiddleback chairs that we have. Oh, why, why am I talking about it here? Let's just go look. So let's leave the guest room slash Ivy's room and we'll go over into our dining room. I actually found these three, four, I think the fourth one's over on that end. And if you guys can tell, they're actually different than the other ones right here. They're a different color. So I found these four on Marketplace for $25 for these four and a matching table. So we actually don't have the matching table set up right now. We still have this one that came with the house. It's really nice, but you guys, it is tearing up my tablecloths. It's in such rough shape. You guys can see it. You can even hear it. Like when I lay it down, it just catches on everything. I can't eat on it. It's not um, protected in any way. And Josh and I are basically deciding that we are going to keep the table, but I think we're gonna use it like in the garage, you know, kind of almost for, as like a workbench shelf kind of thing, you know, so we can store things on top of it or beneath it. But it's just not working very well for us right now as our dining room table. So we have another one, it's got the rounded ends on it, uh, but it came with this set of four chairs for $25 for all of it. I was seriously so impressed. Okay, so once I found these four chairs in the table, which I have not put together yet, I had them with our parlor chairs. And so when I say parlor chairs, I'm talking about these little guys. You guys, and look, I, I did wanna put those sticks in that, uh, in that ceramic piece that I found. I actually did not put this here. Somebody else did at my surprise 35th birthday party this weekend. But this is what I'm talking about. So they've got this, this bent wood back um, and I've got enough to go around our whole table, but they don't match at all. So two of them look like this, two of them look like this, but with cane bottom. And then four of them are more of like an orangey or lighter tone wood. And so even though these are my favorite chairs, this is my favorite kind in specific, they don't match. I can't find 10 antique chairs that match. And so I started out having those around this table and I put these two on either end and I liked it, it wasn't bad. But then I found this set of Ethan Allen chairs online, a set of six matching 
for $250, which I know is kind of a lot, but when it comes to really nice Ethan Allen dining room chairs, I was willing to put out the money for it. So it actually came with four of these and then two of the armchair ones, the ones to go, that go on the end. Well, y'all, the armchair ones do not fit underneath the table that we have. And so I have to put them upstairs in the girls' room. They're kind of big and bulky. These are definitely orangier. And then like an actual authentic fiddleback chair would be taller as well. And so there's just something about these that definitely says the 80s and not necessarily actual antiques. So $25 for these in the table that we don't have in here yet. And then 250, so 10 times as much, for these four and the two that are upstairs. And I don't know, part of me kind of wants that $250 back. <laughs> oh, but Josh would kill me for like all the trips that I took to Omaha to get these things. I don't know. Okay, so here I will insert some footage and you guys can kind of see what they looked like before. And then I will show you guys what they look like now and give me like a vote. Do you vote parlor chairs or do you guys vote fiddleback chairs? Let me know. Oh, and you guys look at these. Okay, so it's been a few days, but Josh totally surprised me for my 35th birthday. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh my gosh, I was completely blown away. These were looking a little bit fresher a few days ago, but there's still a couple of really pretty ones. And then this also was given to me by my sweet friend, Marsha. She was the one who actually gave me that ironstone plate for our housewarming party. And I just thought this was so pretty for springtime. But y'all, he got me so good. I literally had no idea that there was gonna be any kind of party. I even drove up to our house and I saw all of the cars parked around our house. And I mentioned to my mother-in-law, I was like, y'all, it looks like there's a party happening here, but we're right next to the cemetery and it's Memorial Day weekend. And so I was like, oh, they all must be here to be visiting their dead relatives. I even, yeah, it was one of the best days of my whole life. My man, gotta give him a shout out. He killed it, okay? All right, so moving on, let's go ahead and I will show you the high chair that I found. I mentioned this in my farmer's market video that I made a couple weeks ago. I told you guys that we used to have that plastic Ikea one. You guys know the one I'm talking about. It's like literally every mom in America has it. I decided to buy this one just because I felt like it was a lot more appropriate with the time period of our house. And I just felt like this one, let me back it up match these chairs. I just feel like it matched our whole kitchen design a little bit better. And so I was so excited to find that. I got that one for $25. Ivy just loves it. And what I really like about it too, is as I just kind of showed you, you can flip it up. You can put it all the way to the back and then we can scoot that little chair right up to our table so that she can sit with us. And she loves being the big girl sitting with us. All right, next marketplace find. It's just chairs galore around here, okay? You guys know in my video that I posted last year that I found all of these amazing ladder back chairs for $7 a piece. Well, you guys, I'm obsessed with them. I love them. We eat dinner in them almost every single night, but did you hear that? Like these things are rickety as junk. <laughs> they really are bad and you know, we're not like the lightest people in the United States and Josh can get really nervous when he sits in them. So I'll show you the post that I found on Facebook Marketplace yesterday. I actually found these exact same chairs for $5 for three of them. Not $5 a piece, $5 for all three. Y'all, I had to drive out and get them and it was a hike. It's the same place that I got that basket. I was a little bit disappointed because although they are the exact same chair and I got three of them, they're a different color. So I have them in here right now. As you guys can see, like these are much more of like an orangey color. So my thought is that when the time comes, which I know it's coming, that one of these, oh, hello. One of these bad boys just breaks. Oh, these are those, um, the orangey ones that I was talking about right here. You guys, this video was gonna be like 
so all over the place with the camera work. You're welcome. So when the time comes when one of us busts these beautiful chairs open, we will have a replacement one. So that's why I thought it was worth the time because I mean, Lord knows, these ladder back chairs, they are so expensive if you buy them at like an antique store or something. Part of me is even thinking about maybe selling one and just keeping two. I can't see why we would ever need seven, like three replacement ones. Maybe we will. I have no idea. I figured that it was a compromise because I love these chairs so much. I refuse to get rid of them. And Josh, it's like the bane of his existence. He hates them so much. So I figure that's a compromise, right? If I just get more. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. And the final piece that I want to show you is our bookshelf, which I'm so excited about. I found this piece for $50, which I know kind of sounds like a lot, but honestly, look at it. Okay. I'm going to do something weird. I'm actually going to show you the backside first because look at how solid that is. Y'all, this thing is heavy. It is definitely an antique. We just took it down from upstairs. I'll show you guys what it looked like before this. So here's this bookshelf that I got from Rosie. As you can see, the people who painted it didn't really get into all the cracks and grooves. It's just kind of dingy and dirty. And as you can see, she has not quite kept up the organization. Okay, so we just took off all the stuff, just laid all of the books on Rosie's bed. And here you can see that it's like a little bit dingy and dirty on top. And this actually gives you a better idea of kind of the paint job that we're looking at. It looks like a lot of this was missed. I'm trying to figure out if it even was painted black before or if it's just the wood that's showing through but there's just a lot of inconsistencies okay everybody so today when i'm going to be painting this bookshelf i'm going to be using beyond paint so beyond paint is proudly made in the united states and it's an eco-friendly option it's a water-based formula which is non-toxic it has low voc and it's free of hazardous air pollutants which makes it a safe choice for people and pets so the nice thing about this paint too is that the prep is super easy so all you need it's like vinegar and water to make sure that your piece is like clean and dry and free of any waxes or dirt or grime or anything like that. Beyond Paint is an all-in-one paint that provides ease of application with no stripping, no sanding, and no priming required. Formulated to bond on nearly any surface except for walls, including cabinets, furniture, countertops, vanities, and even glazed tile. It's easy to apply for both DIYers and seasoned pros. Beyond Paint recommends applying with a 3 8 microfiber nap roller. I tried this for a while, but I actually thought that with an antique, it did look more authentic if I actually just hand painted it with a brush. This paint formulation it has easy application. It has a slight texture that eliminates brush marks, providing a rich finish that conceals imperfections. Specifically engineered to work for both indoor and outdoor projects, Beyond Paint is an all-in-one bonder primer finisher that adheres to a durable, washable surface in just one or two coats. Using Beyond Paint, homeowners can avoid undertaking a costly home renovation and, in just a few simple steps, achieve a professional quality makeover without the painstaking prep work saving valuable time, effort, and money. Beyond Paint's water-based products are formulated with the newest nanoparticle technology, which contains a very fine colorant to avoid fading due to UV sunlight and provides three to four times more durability and coverage than regular wall paint. As a special gift for today's viewers, Beyond Paint is offering a 10% discount on all paint products on their website, beyondpaint.com, for a limited time. Simply enter the discount code at checkout. For more inspiration and to purchase Beyond Paint products available in a wealth of matte and metallic colors, visit beyondpaint.com. Okay, so here we are. It's actually the next day. It did say that this paint needs about two to four hours to dry after it is dry to the touch. So I just wanted to make sure that it was all completely dry. So we just let it dry overnight. Hopefully you guys can see that all of the black is gone. There's still like the holes and stuff, but I tried to do my best to really try to get it out as much as possible. So here it is now, this is the after. Oh no, I did forget one little spot. Oh well. All right, well, here it is. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna have Rosie help me put this together, like style it, but she's off at the neighbor's house having fun with her friends, and so we just put it together, but I feel like this piece is looking so much better. 
So you guys, this is gonna wrap up the video for today. If you like this kind of content, please let me know. Give me a like or subscribe. And y'all, until next time, we will see you later. Thanks for coming.